looking at the best draft selections of all time by pick. At number 32, we go to Saints quarterback Drew Brees. Taken by the Chargers in the 2001 NFL Draft, Brees spent his first five seasons in San Diego before heading south to New Orleans. Since the move to the French Court of the nine-time Pro Bowler has thrown for over 4,000 yards in 10 straight seasons, picking up a Super Bowl MVP along the way. Brees sets up the screen. Pierre Thomas. Thomas still on his feet. Down to the five. Makes the move. He's going to score. Our best number 31 pick of all time is Eagles legend Tommy McDonald. The offensive weapon was a member of Philly's last championship team in 1960. McDonald finished in the top ten in receiving touchdowns six times and was also named to six Pro Bowls over his 12-year career. The honor of being the best 30th pick of all time goes to Giants great Sam Huff. The imposing linebacker played in six NFL title games during the late 1950s and early 60s. Huff was the first NFL player to grace the cover of Time magazine and was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1982. We look at another Hall of Famer for the best 29th pick of all time, Fran Tarkenton. In Minnesota's first game ever, the rookie from Georgia came off the bench to fire four touchdown passes and run for a fifth in a big upset of Chicago Bears. Nine Pro Bowls and 18 seasons later, Tarkenton retired with nearly every significant passing record. The best number 28 pick of all time is the ball hawking Daryl Green. The former fastest player alive played 20 seasons, intercepting at least one pass in 19 straight seasons. Daryl Green is the fastest guy in the NFL, and he proves it there. The seven time Pro Bowler was a member of the 1990s All Decade team and was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2008. For the honor of best 27th pick of all time, we go back to 1983 when the Dolphins picked Pitt quarterback Dan Marino. And the rest, as they say, is history. When Dan the Man retired 17 seasons later, the Hall of Famer held the all-time records for most touchdown passes, yardage, completions, and attempts. From one Hall of Famer to another, back in 1996, the Ravens used their first round pick on a linebacker out of the U. His name, Ray Lewis. Everybody watching tonight! So I tell you what, if you can't fire into the neck, you're in the wrong business. Over 17 seasons in Baltimore, he won two Super Bowl rings, one Super Bowl MVP, and two Defensive Player of the Year awards. Plus, Ray Ray was named to a record 10 All-Pro teams. It's hard to miss the best 25th pick of all time, Big Ted Washington. Selected by the 49ers in 1991, the massive man was the prototypical 3-4 tackle of his era. Over 17 seasons in the NFL, the defensive anchor made four Pro Bowls and won a Super Bowl with the Patriots in 2003. We have to go with the man under center in Green Bay for the best 24th pick of all time, Aaron Rodgers. Remember when we saw him wait and wait and wait in the green room on draft night? No need to feel bad for number 12 now. Rolling left, throws late, left side. Besides winning a Super Bowl MVP trophy, A-Rod has won two regular season MVPs and been named to five Pro Bowls. The 23rd best pick of all time goes to current Ravens GM Ozzie Newsome. Before he was building Baltimore Super Bowl teams, he was catching passes in Cleveland. The Hall of Fame tight end even had a stretch where he hauled in at least one pass in 150 straight games. For the best 22nd pick of all time, we go back to 1950, when the Steelers selected undersized defensive tackle Ernie Stoutner. In 14 seasons, the 6'1", 230-pounder would make nine Pro Bowls and become one of the best defensive linemen of his era. Our best 21st pick of all time was, as he'd say, straight cash, homie. After slipping down the board in the 1998 draft, Randy Moss ultimately found his footing in Minnesota, catching a rookie record 17 touchdown passes. Cunningham to throw downfield, Watts Moss, it is on! Touchdown! Moss still holds the single season touchdown reception record and is second on the all-time regular season touchdown reception list. The greatest 20th pick of all time is Forrest Gregg, who was selected in the 1956 draft. The Hall of Fame offensive lineman played for 15 seasons, winning six championships. Greg was later the head coach of three NFL teams, as well as two Canadian Football League teams. Vikings great Randall McDaniel is our best overall 19th pick. The Hall of Fame guard started 220 games over his 14th season career. He was a seven-time All-Pro selection and named to 12 straight Pro Bowls. For a look at the best 18th pick of all time, we go back to the Redskins' first pick of the 1980 draft, Art Monk. 
the Hall of Fame receiver caught on quickly, hauling in the Rookie of the Year award with a unanimous vote. In 1992, he set the record for most career receptions and would win three Super Bowls in his career. Without question, the best number 17 pick of all time goes to Cowboys great Emmitt Smith. Breaks a tackle, coming left at the 10, touchdown Emmitt Smith. The Hall of Fame running back out of Florida put together a legendary career, winning three Super Bowl rings. Smith still holds the NFL records for most career rushing yards and rushing touchdowns. Another all-time great lands at number 16. Jerry Rice was taken in 1985 by the 49ers out of little-known Mississippi Valley State. The best receiver in NFL history, still the career leader in receptions, receiving yards, and receiving touchdowns. And Young wants to throw. And he is looking for Jerry. And Rice is there. And he's into the end zone! The 13-time Pro Bowler was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2010. All rise for the best 15th pick of all time. This distinction goes to the Honorable Alan Page. Drafted out of Notre Dame in 1967 by Minnesota, Page played 16 seasons with the Vikings and Bears. The Hall of Famer helped anchor the Purple People Eaters and was named in nine Pro Bowls. Last year, Page retired from the Minnesota Supreme Court, where he had served as an associate judge since 1993. We're getting Kelly Tough for the best 14th pick of all time. Selected by Buffalo in the famous 1983 draft, Jim Kelly didn't debut until two years later. The quarterback would lead the Bills to four consecutive Super Bowl appearances on his way to earning a spot in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Kelly's number 12 still remains the only number retired in Bills franchise history. In 1997, the Kansas City Chiefs traded up to grab the best 13th pick of all time, Tony Gonzalez. Over 17 seasons with the Chiefs and Falcons, the tight end made 14 Pro Bowls and finished his illustrious career as the all-time leader in receptions by a tight end. The future Hall of Famer will be eligible for enshrinement in 2019. The best 12th pick of all time, Herb Adderley, was drafted in 1961 as a running back, but Packers coach Vince Lombardi moved him to corner to take over for an injured player. Adderley picked off 48 passes during his 12-year career and doubled as a kickoff returner. The Hall of Famer played in four of the first six Super Bowls and won three of them. The best 11th pick of all time, simply known as the Playmaker. Between 1991 and 1998, Michael Irvin hauled in at least 1,000 yards in each year but one, with the Cowboys winning three Super Bowls. Throws it right to the goal line. Irvin jumping, catch at the three, diving, touchdown! The Hall of Famer was key to the Cowboys' 90s dominance, finishing his career with 750 catches and almost 12,000 yards. Rod Woodson finished his career with 71 interception and is our best number 10 pick of all time. The Hall of Famer was named to the Pro Bowl 11 times, a record for defensive backs, during his 17-year career. Fires under pressure, it is tipped into the air and pulled in by Pittsburgh. Rod Woodson with the ball. Woodson was also selected as the NFL's 75th anniversary team, one of only five active players to make that list. The best number nine pick of all time comes from the first family of football. Of the seven players from the Matthews family, Bruce may have been the best. Over 19 years in the league, he made 14 consecutive Pro Bowls and played in 296 games, which ranks fourth all time for position players. The big man was so versatile, he started at every position on the line during his career, earning him a trip to Canton. His son, Jake, and nephew, Clay, still playing in the NFL today. The one and only Ronnie Lott is the greatest eighth pick of all time. Considered one of the toughest players ever, the Hall of Famer was named an All-Pro eight times at three different positions and won four Super Bowls in his career. In one of the tightest races so far, Champ Bailey edges out Adrian Peterson for the honor of best seventh pick in NFL history. Selected by the Redskins with their first pick in the 1999 draft, Bailey quickly established himself as a lockdown corner. Over 15 seasons in the league, the future Hall of Famer earned All-Pro honors seven times and was also named the 12 Pro Bowls, retiring after the 2013 season. There's only one choice for the best sixth pick of all time, the great Jim Brown. Jim Brown with the 40. Jim Brown is going to go all the way for a touchdown. Cleveland used their top pick in the 1957 draft on the multi-sport star out of Syracuse. The Hall of Fame running back would win Rookie of the Year, MVP, three times, and was named in nine Pro Bowls before retiring to pursue a career in acting. Over his nine-year run in the league, Brown never missed a single game. We go to another time for the best fifth pick of all time, prime time. 
Deion Sanders' stardom was apparent from his debut game when he returned to punt 68 yards for a touchdown. Over 14 seasons, Deion Dion was named a first-team All-Pro six different times, winning a Super Bowl with both the Cowboys and the 49ers. The Hall of Famer was a member of the NFL's all-decade team of the 1990s as both a cornerback and a punt returner. The best number four pick gets a little sweet with Bears great Walter Payton. Taken in the 1975 draft, the Hall of Famer is known as one of the most prolific running backs of all time. Payton won the 1977 MVP and led the Bears to a Super Bowl championship in 1985. When he retired in 1987, Sweetness held records for most career rushing yards, touchdowns, carries, yards from scrimmage, and all-purpose yards. The best number three pick in NFL history revolutionized the ground game in his era. The Lions selected Barry Sanders with the number three overall pick in the 1989 NFL Draft. The small statured back out of Oklahoma State was an all-pro every season of his career, and if not for an early retirement, would most likely be higher than third on the all-time rushing list. Ask any quarterback from the 80s who the greatest number two pick of all time, and they'll all answer with two letters, LT. Drafted out of North Carolina in 1981, Lawrence Taylor was a major force from day one of his career, recording nine sacks in his debut season. LT became the first rookie to be named the league's Defensive Player of the Year and would win that award two more times. The Hall of Famer was named the NFL MVP in 1986. That's the last time a defensive player earned that distinction. With all due respect to John Elway and Bruce Smith, we have to go with Peyton Manning as our best top pick of all time. Selected first overall in the 1998 NFL Draft, the five-time MVP enjoyed 18 seasons in the league with both the Colts and the Broncos. The Sheriff played in four Super Bowls, winning two, and retired as the all-time NFL leader in passing touchdowns and passing yards. Move over Brett Favre and make room for the new king. Manning will be eligible for the Hall of Fame in 2021.